Yeah. Uh, we'll call the uh, March 9th meeting of the Conway Select Board to order at 6 o'clock. We're being videotaped by Community Frontier, Frontier Community Access Television uh, for viewing later by our residents in the park. First item on the agenda, we have minutes for March 2nd. Has everybody reviewed the minutes? Yeah. Everybody great. happy with the minutes? No additions, no uh, amendments? Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for the March, March 2nd meeting. I have a second. second. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, meetings attended by select board members. Philip. Yeah, Tuesday was the um, big Frontier Regional School Committee budget final, and the budget was voted uh, as the, the same the same preliminary numbers. Great, it's, it's okay. official. The um, the thing that can and and, and um, uh, Tom Hutchinson was there. The second budget meeting at Frontier in a row that he was there. Um, got to see the whole discussion between the other town members of town governments that they were there, which was interesting. Um, but what what took place afterwards, the whole um, and, and subsequent to that meeting with the governor's announcement recommending that schools uh, uh, cancel all of their international trips, mm -hmm. and there was a nice article in the recorder today about that. What they didn't go into is that of all of the schools listed, Frontier is has more international trips coming up in the next month than all the rest combined. There's five of them. Wow. Um, and uh, there is no mechanism for refunds. To, and so, so the dynamic, the way that this works for parents, these, the, there's three or four large companies that have the whole school international trip business. And, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you, the parents sign up three years out because you get, they, they offer you a discount, a 20%, whatever discount, if you sign up that far out, and then they want you on a payment plan, 100, 200 bucks a month. So that went, at, uh, and, and in fact, you can't if it's if it's a year out, you can, it's, they close off registration for the trips. So you, so um, all these parents that have put all this money out, um, there's no mechanism in any government uh, like there's airlines. There's talk of airlines being bailed out. There's no mechanism to reimburse parents, and the companies, the travel companies, say, well, we bought the airline tickets. We bought the hotel. None of those costs are reimbursable to us. So unless all of those niche travel companies are reimbursed, whatever. So the whole thing is going to be uh, uh, parents left holding, left holding the bag, three out three or four thousand dollars. Who decides if you go? So that's uh, the the governor has strongly recommended yeah. it as in an informal way. Now one of the trips that is. It looks like it's n none of them have been canceled, but the one that looks most likely to be canceled is the one that went to going to southern France and northern Italy, which oh. north yeah. Um, so uh, to, so so it's and there's uh, the we, nobody can get a clear answer as to whether if the U.S. government says you can't go to a certain region, then are the parents entitled to a refund? But the it's completely up to the corporate entity as to whether to give it. And, and then e the other thing is that um, there's a uh, frontier has a sister city relationship with a city in the Netherlands or or whatever, and um, there's forty or fifty kids that go there every yep. every yeah, they have every, spring break, back and forth, every spring break every spring break and yeah. and it was so many that the school itself acts as its own travel agent and purchased travel insurance. And um, now there's some indication that maybe travel insurance won't cover <laughs> this because it's a known event. Oh, and um, and so, but all that's up in the air. Um, uh, and the worst thing is that for the airlines, as companies, to get reimbursed, to get made whole by the federal government, when they themselves have have the money from the parents for stuff like this and won't reimburse them. So hopefully, as you talk about this with people, that that one of the things you can talk about is. The need to reimburse as parents for international mm -hmm. travel students that this is sort of unfair that this burden lies upon them sure and in our town it's at least a dozen families mm -hmm. and and depend if all of them get canceled it's up to 20 families that are all out three four thousand dollars each and mm -hmm. that would really be awful yeah so absolutely um absolutely that's, that's all your school committee news for the past week okay well thank you Philip. robert 
Well, we had a MMA legislative breakfast last Friday morning here in town. It was, you know, you know very well attended, I thought, for a beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, eight o'clock in the morning, and mm -hmm. uh, and the MMA gave their views on ongoing legislation. It was very good. Yeah, I, I thought the meeting went uh, went very well Friday morning. And earlier today, I went to a, a Friends of the Conway meeting where they're really interested in looking at a couple of their hopes for for grants, and mm -hmm. uh, and they may be coming to us to ask for help or something mm -hmm. at, at some point. Okay. Okay. Uh, I had a, uh, you know, obviously I went to the breakfast on Friday with Bob, and I had an MMA personnel policy committee meeting last week as well. Uh, those are always very interesting. When I come out of those, I'm always very happy that we don't have some of the personnel problems that some of these other towns have. So that was good. So the, a nice thing about the breakfast that you know I should have mentioned was that thank you very much to Bruce and and whoever polished the floor that you know that was Bruce. Oh the, yeah, the, they the, did a great the, great Bruce job. Jr. The floor yeah. has not looked like it does now. I don't know, in my memory anyway. You know, it it it, it was it was really shining. I thought I thought it was a, it, I thought it was wet. You know, it was it was, it was really yes. beautiful. Yes. Okay. Some of us had to work, unfortunately, couldn't, couldn't make it. But uh, we missed you, Phil. <laughs> uh, next item on the agenda is public comment. John, do you have some public comment? I do. Um, I uh, have a citizen's petition here, uh, and I'd like to know how to address it. What's the policy? How do I get it through for a uh, addressing Article 11 of our bylaws? Okay, um, do you have something in writing to put on the warrant? I do. Basically, it is um, the purpose of this petition is to repeal Article 11 of the Town of Conway Protective Bylaws in its entirety by the citizens' petition, dated March 8th, 2020. Okay, um, uh, you can you can help them with the language to put that on there. Yeah. yeah, it'll it'll uh, there. There will be a motion that says to remove the section. So it, it should really say the petition should be to remove. You know, wh whatever it is, it, you you don't. But don't change yeah, don't, don't change don't that copy. That. Yeah, this is this is copies. Oh, that's a copy. Yeah, I've, okay, I've got copies for all now, you guys. Now, have you oh. have you checked those signatures out with the town clerk? I have not. Yeah, okay. that's they, the first thing to do. You, you yeah, need you, to, you submit you need the to petition to the town clerk and. No. No. Well, there's, a, there's a box. Yeah. Uh, there's a box. You can just leave it in the box. Got it. Um, and mm -hmm. she will check to make sure that the signatures are valid, registered voters in common. Okay. Do you have Do you have ten? Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. She just has to check out those signatures, make sure that they're all valid citizens of Conway. Residents. Uh, what's that? Residents. Well, citizens can vote. True. Okay. But registered voters have to sign the petition. That's right. Yes, yeah. registered voters. Yeah, you can't be a registered voter unless you're a citizen. I don't know. Okay. Well, we're, we're not going to argue you. the point. You can, you can be a green card holder, though, we're, we're, before we're you're not, a citizen. We're, we're not going to argue the point. But your, your point yeah. is they have to actually live in Conway, not just be a registered voter. Yeah. If you... No, no yeah, they have that, to be a registered voter to sign understand. these petitions. Right. Oh, registered yeah. voter. Okay. Which would mean you'd have to be at least domiciled in that, Conway. That's what I guess. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. knew that's where you were going. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That's what I was trying to understand if there was, you know, a disagreement. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, so, I'm, I'm so why don't you leave one copy here? Leave the original with the town clerk uh, in her mailbox. Okay. Out there and. Um, but it, assuming those signatures are checked out, then is he within the time limit? Yes. Okay. We're closing the yeah. warrant tonight. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Alrighty. That's it's not a hard thing to put something on the warrant. No, I, I didn't know, and, and you know, I, thanks for the for the last minute trying to get this through. Appreciate that, John. Okay. We all set. Yep. Takes here. Just just um, you know, have that checked out with her in the morning. Will do. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Next item. Old business. Sign the town administrator's contract. 
Does everybody? Does everybody we'll move that to the end of the, to the end of the meeting? Here from them first. Radio, whatever. Go on. Want to move that to the to the end of the thing and do you hear about the radio first? Do you want to hear the, about the radios first? They're standing in the hallway. Okay. okay. Uh, is Bob out there? Is the chief out there? Yes. They were. A second ago. There's radio time. Okay. 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 And I turned the barrel. Uh oh. Robert, pull, 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 pull that other chair around. So, what's the bad news? Oh. Money, money, money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all bad news, money is, right? Chief, how are you? Good. Thank you for coming in. Oh, so, what do we have for radio costs here? I totaled mine up. I uh, sat with Chief Pachur, who's really been the point man for the county dealing with a fur cog and Department of Public Safety. And this is what is come up for the, for the police department. I can speak to Absolutely. So we're going for the more expensive radios. His recommendation was because of the size of the department and the use they get to go with the more rugged radio. And, and who, who is this? John Pichur, Chief Pichur. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. He has, he had those right there at his department so I could see the difference what he was talking about as far as a more <clears throat> rugged case of the, uh, the 6,000 over the 4,000. All right, so the Kenwoods aren't that, that great. He was not a big, as big a fan of the Kenwood as he was a Motorola. Well, we have Motorola's now, don't we? Correct. Okay, well, we're used to Motorola's, right? Yeah, okay, good luck with them. The only thing we've had to replace on them is an antenna here or there. But now, the radios were confined. what's the base cost of these? Because we're just paying, we're just paying, we're paying the above. The, just the over and above. Right. So, what's our what's the base cost the base, of the radios? The base cost of the radio is two thousand two hundred and seventy nine dollars and ninety four cents per radio. Per radio. Okay. So this is the this nine thousand this ninety three hundred is the above. So it's above no, one. If you go back, if you go to say take the first item, APX six thousand. Yep. Per radio, it's two thousand two hundred and seventy-nine dollars and ninety-four cents for the base radio. Okay. If you get the better radio, it's an additional five hundred and forty-two dollars. Right. Okay. What what I'm trying to figure out yep. here is what what are we, they're giving us radios, and they're giving us so much money for those radios. Correct. How much is that altogether? Do we know? Well, we could add these up real quick. So, so, so this figure is the additional amount that the town would pay Correct. over what the FERCOG is. Correct. Right, yeah, so the yeah. FERCOG has, has gotten these for basically, you know, cost. So, yeah. you know, this, this 9000 is not the total cost, it's just a portion of it. it, is it be, what it do you figure, about 20%? <clears throat> uh, you got five, 500 more out of 2000, that's about 20%. That's about... And yeah, it's about twenty percent. Cost of the base twenty-five percent. Five four fifty. The base one would be twenty-seven. So it's about a quarter there. What this? But the state used to pay for a lot more. The last time it came around, I mean, this is state funding through FERCOC. Correct. So, so this, but the state used to pay for like the all of this. Only would I wouldn't say they used to. They did on the last time we had a new radio system built. They did. And that was a long time ago. That was, that was like 15 ago. years yeah. ago. Yeah. So essentially, you know, we're we're getting a lot of value here for this yeah. $9,300. We're only paying about 20% of the total cost. Oh, right. okay. So the state would pay for the whole system if we didn't get the upgrade. If, if you get the base, being, if you get it would the, cost the us nothing basic, if we didn't have the upgrade. They would pay for it. Yeah. So they're paying for the basic. We're trying to get a better grade radio. So when Bob came they're, in, they're basically, talked, they're ba basically they would pay for an entry level. Yeah. We're trying to get a more rugged radio. Bob came in and gave it. Was it last week, Bob? Two weeks right. ago? I forget. Um, saying that there was actually a bunch of costs that the state wasn't paying at all. 
that he was just learning about. Well, that was, yeah. Yeah, you're right, until we, and, and, and actually so, Ken and I met with the people that were more than no than the first okay, person okay. we met with. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the fur cog is negotiating a lot of those other costs. And I, I, there's a chance, I don't want to say it's going to happen, there's a, a good chance, I think, that the fur cog will be given the authorization to do the programming. Yes. Which currently we're, they don't. We're working on that. Yes. If they get that, yes. that's a nine hundred dollar yes. Well that's a hundred dollars per radio. Yeah. Yeah. That comes off the So the, the what what I what what I've been asked about this stuff is, you know, in what, a year or two, um, Starlink is online for global internet broadband. And their market that they are going after in the United States is emergency response and emergency services nationwide. And and that uh, we don't know what their monthly cost is and whatever, but from what they've already said, it's a lot less than. I mean, I, and I, like I don't know whether there's any discussion. From what I understand, there's no discussion at the FERCOG level about this stuff, and that we're just going with this because this is what we know and this is what our infrastructure is set up for. But but like, yeah. if if this is outdated and obsolete in two years. And something else replaces it that's I, safer. We, we, I don't, we don't think we you're going to see don't know that. that. Yeah. Um, this is the 800 megahertz system that yeah. the state police and the environmental police and everybody else are using. So the, the basic system has already been up and running. Eastern, eastern, central and eastern. It's they're slowly building it out across the western part of the state. Um, we are currently paying per eight per department. Twenty-four hundred dollars. I'm paying twenty-four. He's paying twenty-four. Yeah. Ambulance pays twenty-four hundred dollars annually to keep our current radio system mm -hmm. going. And it's believe me, it's band-aided. It's patched together because they're stealing parts from one tower mm -hmm. to keep another tower going. Um, and they figure the entire system will be obsolete in three years. So the town will be saving roughly seven thousand mm -hmm. dollars a year after that system goes so down. It was, the state's gonna pick up the cost. Was there an issue with this with some with being concerned that some towns would be subsidizing other towns? That, no. No, no, not, not at all. Not okay. on this. No, okay. no, the the, no. the state's gonna pick up the trunk, the eight hundred megahertz trunk. And they're just adding channels to it. So we'll be able to, to utilize it. And we'll maybe finally have a true interoperable radio system. Mm -hmm. And everybody will be on the, on the same. Are there any towns left out? Uh, Hawley expressed a lot of concern Holly over did. whether they'd be in a yeah. blacked and, out and, area uh, or something. Chief Pachurik took his radio and went up there and rode with that yeah. uh, gentleman. Yeah, yeah. Who's a smart sure. yeah. 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 Who's saying? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And. Yeah. Um, he, and he had legitimate concerns, he if you were for real. And, yeah. and after the Chief Pachurik got done riding with him, he says, when can we sign up? Great. Okay, good, good, <laughs> good, good. Because good. this is better than his current system. He was by far the most unhappy yeah, vocal. person. He so. was the most yeah. vocal. Yeah. But he, he wants it. Great. So, so Bob, what's it going to cost fire? The fire is roughly twelve thousand six hundred forty-eight dollars. Uh, that's going with the free radios, the free portables on the top row, uh, the Motorola free portables. Okay. And and under the next line down, the Motorola APX sixty-five hundred, which is the better radio. Like I was going to put one of them in my police in the fire cruiser, and all the other trucks are going to get the regular freebies, the forty-five hundreds. After meeting, we thought that maybe we would have to go at a more expensive radios until after we met with Ken and and I met with the uh, yeah. Zach. Jack Smith. Jack Smith from the EMS department in Deerfield, and Kenny met with uh, Chief Petrick. We were able to condense things down. So, and this list I went over this ambulance list with Gemma too right. the other day. Yep. So she comes up with thirteen hundred twenty-six dollars. Okay. So a grand total of, I might as well say 14,000. 14, yeah. So we basically have nine and 14. Um, we have free cash to cover this time? I think we do. I think we're just below that.
I was just looking to see whether, Bob, whether your no, costs are the uh, same as Ken's here. You know, you've got two radios at 1171. He is, but his each are 460. That looks like they're slightly different, but I didn't know. Yeah, yeah right now we have 17. With the eight. Please get a better deal or a worse oh. deal than no, the No, they're both off the same price list. Yeah, okay. All I uh, was I rounded up to the dollar. Uh, uh -huh. mm. So it's it it's close. Um, yeah. All right. Do we have we, some? But we've got you know we've got, we've hundreds got of capital. thousands we've in got general capital. stabilization. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll we'll do it one way or the other. Okay. Um, yeah. This is some this is something we can't fool around with. How often do you see this um, equipment being? Replaced? replaced? I don't in my lifetime. They, they, uh, Chief Pacheric and I sat and talked about this. Technology changes you know, all the time. I understand that. Yeah. But, um, I mean, these are these are good quality mm -hmm. radios. This is not an entry level radio. Um, and he would he described it as a 20 year radio. Okay. Which doesn't surprise me at all because the radios we currently have are not public service radios, they're more of a generic radio. And they're 15? 15, 16, yeah. Mm. All right, so, so if you take the 23,000. parts to them. You take the 23,000, 10 years life, it's, it's 20, 2,300 a year to get these radios. That's 24. 23, 24. Well, yeah. that oh, that's it. I'm just thinking it's something that should be added to the capital plan. Yeah. yeah. Over 21. 20 yeah. years. The good, the good news is, like I say, we'll be saving roughly seven thousand dollars a year on maintenance. On, on maintenance. Unless okay. they come up with some maintenance. The, well, I, we don't know that. I'm, 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 I'm kind of going on my gut feeling that back twenty-five years ago, when the state took over the dispatching system, mm -hmm. they said it would be for five years, and then the towns would have to incur the cost. Okay. To this day, we've incurred Never nothing. Seen it. Okay, so. We get these radios. We spend twenty-four thousand dollars. We save seven thousand a year. That's a three and a half year payback, that's saving on maintenance. Good payback. That's that's an excellent payback. <laughs> but we also have no choice, right? Oh, I, I mean, what? right, right. That's right. They, yeah. Everything's going. Yeah. Everyone in, in Western years, Mass is, be is going to this system. Right. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, the choice is. It's a no-brainer. The choice is either you know have have your police department, fire department. Like act safely only, or be, able the only, be in danger, smoke, be in smoke danger smoke at all times. You know, smoke. Basically, signal. the only reason they're, they're saying three years down the road before they're all gone obsolete is because of the pay, paging. The fire department has to have. Mm -hmm. They don't make 800 paging devices yet. Mm -hmm. They're working on them, so we have to stay with the radio system we got right now until they come out with new pagers. Strictly oh. for paging. Strictly for paging, or the firemen are never going to get their calls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this will be the last hardware for this stuff that you'll ever because we're. We're headed towards the digital mm -hmm. broadband, yeah. worldwide, global internet. Well, these, these are actually digital radios yeah. as opposed mm -hmm. to analog yes. radios. They're, they're digital radios, yeah. yeah. Any other questions? Okay. Not uh, as bad as I feared. Um, I'll, make a motion. I'll make list. a motion that we approve the, uh, the cost increase for these radios for 14000 for fire and uh, about 9300 for uh, police. Don't forget the ambulance one. Oh, that's, no, that yeah, that's, that's, that's in that's in your that's Sorry. in your number. Sorry, you're right. Yep. Yeah. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Aye. Okay. <clears throat> Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the work you yeah. did on this. So, Bob, it came in much better than I than you were it anticipating. Right. You were anti mm -hmm. You told yeah. us before, so that's great. That that that. that yeah. 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 That, yeah. You know, you got to investigate. You no, no. Take your first answer from somebody. And, uh, yeah. Like investigate down the road. That's a real relief because th those all sounded like costs we would have. Before I put this to together, go. Ken and I sat down. We met for over an hour. Mm -hmm. We worked together on this. So. Great. Okay. No, great. Yeah. Terrific. Thank you, Robert. Good shows. Yep. shows. It's good. Uh, eight. Eight. <laughs> I thought we were going to have a big bill. You, you, no, you know, no. from what he said before, and I know you said for working on it. Yeah. All right. Why don't we take? Um, AARP grant possibilities next. You were you had an interest in that. So well, um, a resident of Conway came to me with a with a grant from the AARP yeah. that um, 
said perhaps there's this grant could be applied to something we're working on. Yep. So I went to Tom and said, yeah. how's this sound? And he yeah. said, this looks like it's something for the Council on the Aging. And so he contacted Pat and Pat said she's you know, really busy because she's taking over the new visitor yeah. and yeah. and all her other work. So, and we don't have any other projects lined up that we have costed. Yeah, um, and it would probably take more than three weeks to. But it's an April April one day. Like it's coming up. Yeah. So I I um, did mention to Sue and Lee when I talked to them today. Mm, yeah. That perhaps you know because some of the projects they're interested in have to do with uh, aging and. You know, they they might have to come to us to apply for it you to know. actually officially apply if they fill out the application. Yeah, they. So. Do you know if they're working on being a nonprofit? They they said they have to be around for a year before they can become a nonprofit. Mm. And so they after they're officially in place for a year, they hope to become a nonprofit. Yeah. But so they can't. They, they, yeah. It has to be a municipality or a. So what right, this right, what something that to me that would be like good for something like this is a walking path between the New South Meadow Park and the vill and the village just, just because when you think about where seniors can go to recreate or to walk around um, that is one of the few level circuit walking thing that that's it's it's planned it's, the whole thing about it is recreation for seniors and yeah. but there's no safe means of accessing it by foot and. Um, uh, walking along the side of that Shelburne Falls Road, where there is room for a walk, for, for a path. Most of that, I believe, is town right away on that side, because the railroad used to be there. Um, and a, a walking path, or I don't know if it needs to be paved like a sidewalk, or just sort of made safe. Um, I can mention this to Sue as <coughs> you know, a recommendation. Because well, like, I know the rec committee's not thinking about that, they're thinking about the pro whatever, but uh, my, my thing is that that's going to be like a nice park that people are going to have to drive to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, if Sue wants to try to get this to us by uh, April one, that's fine. But I don't, I don't yeah. think I don't think we have the, the time to. Right. 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 And I'll, I'll mention in terms of the path, uh, the original ball field renovation, the the first plan was to connect that to the meadow. Uh, which they were thinking of for other purposes, but they, there was a path that was actually laid out. I remember it was part seeing of the that. Original, they went behind the, the original draft. I remember seeing that. I like that. I'm not sure exactly where it cut over, but it. Okay. Next item. It existed. Um, we have the uh, town administrator's contract. Everybody has a copy. I think we have all the details that we uh, wanted in here. Um, any questions? By anybody? No questions? Okay. We spent a lot of time talking about it. So, are we going to sign this one? This is the one we're going to sign. Uh, there are two copies of that. There are two copies. I'll make a motion that we uh, sign Tom's new three year contract. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Yes, sir. Okay. So you're not going to sign this? Uh, well, if you want me to sign it next to the word no, or I can just mm -hmm. not sign it. I'm, so. Well, if you vote against it, I don't think you want to sign it, right? I think something, I, I don't, I, yes. The specifics of that I will leave to the chairman's discretion. Well, yeah. <laughs> by signing it, you're affirming it. Yes. Okay. Robert. Okay, next item on the agenda. Uh, okay, any other Fiscal year 2021 warrant or budget items. Tom, aside from what uh, John Moore brought in, do we uh, do we have anything else? There's just one thing. Uh, one second. Uh, I don't. See.
seem to have a copy of the handout. It's a handout of new warrant articles, new and proposed warrant articles in the folder. Um, should be there. Okay, good. What, what, what did it say on it? It's an, uh, it's an Excel sheet. Um, this AR piece is really long. So it wasn't in an email we got. Doesn't tell yeah. Really yeah, it should be. But what? Yeah. Should be. Okay. Pretty bad. It's not the CPC. Here it is. This is what you're talking about. Is it the CPC? No. Um, we got that, but. No, that's just the CPC. Possible non-money articles? Yes. Possible not. Nah. Uh -huh. Here it is. Yes, four copies, please. Or three. I don't know if Bob needs I can look at it online. Okay. The only new one is is the one on the bottom, and then, of course, the new uh, new citizens petition. Um, this would be to create a revolving fund for the newsletter, and that would allow um, the town to take money for ads that would then go back toward the cost of producing the newsletter. Yeah. Okay. Instead of going back to the general fund. Good. Yeah, that that's fine. So, Good idea. Uh, yeah, that's 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 mm -hmm. the new item on there as well as the citizens' petition. Okay. But don't we need that? We don't have to have a, a some money in there to start with. No. What we have to have is a figure, and and uh, um, Mike and Jan and I met, and uh, we think. Just putting a figure of five thousand dollars will take care of it forever. It shouldn't ever get more than that. Right now, it gets about half that, uh, and that would also. And where where does that come from? If it's a non-money article, that's all. It, we, that no, it's just that there's a limit. So if it's so never, you have to say what the. If it's limit never gone even half that. Then why not just go to half that and not? I, I don't get that. Well, the actual cost of producing the newsletter is about 3500 That could rise, and it can also accept donations if anyone wanted to donate. Um, I don't see a lot of people donating if it's a town newsletter as opposed to the church newsletter, but it's always possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So having it be able to be that high would be... I actually, I actually think it might be the opposite, because once you say to people, you know, the church... The church raised money to produce this for your behalf. The town, if you don't, po if you don't, <coughs> you know, uh, buy ads and, and patronize the, the publication, your taxes are going to pay for this. So I think that's an even more powerful incentive to contribute. Okay. All right. We'll see. Yes, we will see. You know. Yep. Okay. Any it, question? Any other questions on that particular article? No. So okay. about the strong fire chief. Um, uh, I haven't seen any language about it yet, about the w whatever proposal the thing is. I, I was hoping that we would have a discussion about this, because I think it's um, there, it's one thing to have a strong fire chief for our current chief, but I would, I would look favorably upon a sunset clause on whatever strong fire chief enactment uh, we do, because I, you're, you're changing an employee from an at-will employee to a for-cause employee. I, I, have, I have had some conversations with um, selectmen from other towns, and I originally was in favor of this, and I'm no longer in favor of it. Do tell. Yeah, no, I, 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 think, uh, I think it needs to rest in the hands of the select board rather than the fire chief on certain areas. Okay. Even for the current one, so you you would yes. go. Well, yes. I, I have a, I have a comment to that. Um, a 
a town meeting can't impose its will on future town meetings. And because the vote is a vote to accept a Massachusetts general law that is accepted, and I don't think that a sunset clause would would work in that case, because this town meeting would then be saying um, that the will of the town meeting would change in the future. It's like a bylaw having a sunset to it. Yeah. It, it, it would be a bylaw. Yeah. Um, we'll, I'm, I'm working with the town clerk to make sure that all of the list of mass general law acceptances are included in the bylaws because they really should be. Um, they, it becomes a bylaw of the town, and to say that the bylaw would sunset would impose the will of a prior town meeting on a future town meeting, and that's generally not allowed because every town meeting is its own session. That is an interesting legal point. Yeah. I, I'm always drawn towards interesting legal points. Well, that's um, good. Um, yeah. But uh, so, so, you know, when I was looking into this, and the, I, I saw that there was several towns that were in the in the news that had very adversarial relationships with their chiefs, uh, with their fire chiefs, and with this strong chief thing was blamed as yes. uh, one of the reasons yes. why. That's, but that's I, correct. But I yes. didn't quite. Uh, um, uh, you know, I, I, we, we never really talked about this, so, so that's... Uh, uh, and, and the board could simply vote to, to give the fire chief the authority to make appointments within the fire department. You which know. is the one thing, because we, we've never, uh, uh, according to what everybody says, the board has never disapproved of an appointment for the fire department. Okay, that's true. That doesn't mean it won't happen in the future. Well, the the strong chief thing um, specifically exempts like the the one decision of of a new chief. Well, that's a that's a hiring decision, right? Yeah. Right. Select board. That's yeah. the board. But like it, but and, and yeah, I, I, the chief I've heard can't. I've heard from other selectmen that that it can cause problems, cause a difficult adversarial adversarial relationship uh, with a strong chief. So what we're talking about is whether we recommend it. I mean, or are we talking about more than whether it's one going on the law, law that says? Yeah, right. So this is the two separate items. Um, the 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 first one is voting on whether or not you think it ought to be on the warrant, and then there's another one where you're you're saying we approve of this right, article, right. which is mm -hmm. a separate. Yeah. Uh, I think it'll be clearer um, in the record and going forward if, if those are separate yes. considerations. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that everybody clear on that? In the discussions about why to have a strong chief, the biggest reason always had revolved around Ashfield. You know, and and and, and I you know I don't know that that's a valid point to have a strong. Oh, well, I agree, but <coughs> but but it, I've never heard a, another or 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 a you know a different reason of why we need to do this other than you know Bob thinking he historically was a strong chief and uh, maybe but but well that, and I wondered whether there was something to that that if there is and. Um, I'm, we're getting I'm getting like ahead over the skis here, but like if, if there is like any talk about a fire department merger or shared services yeah, agreement, that's, that's, which we're not talking about, we're not but, right. But but like if if there is, then then we that, can we can always that, then my understanding was that there was an issue if one of them is a strong chief and one of them is not, then is there a is there a higher rent whatever. And that, that that might have been so, I, and I don't know whether that's an issue or not. But I think that's something that he did raise. So well, that, and that would have, certainly have to be something that was part of any intertown agreement. If if one town were to assume responsibility for another town's department, I, I don't see us. I don't see us doing that. Oh, I'm I, need to I hear that us, actually. I, I, <laughs> yes. I, I, I see us it, helping out as much as we can. But which I, we do I already. Don't see, I don't yeah. see us merging departments. I don't see that happening. I certainly wouldn't be in favor. So I'm wondering whether anybody has a good reason of why we need to do this, other well, that, than other that than it. Asheville. Yeah, that was it, and I think mm -hmm. that was that was yeah. it. Yeah. I was wondering, 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So is are we, we going to have a motion about? That? I mean, well, what we're going to do is we're going to to look at all of these. Okay. We want to include them as as an article in the warrant. Okay. Okay. Are we going to go through the warrant items one at a time and decide whether to include them? Or? Yeah, I, yeah. I, that's what this list is, okay. is meant to do: is lay out the like, non-money warrant. Do we want to, Do we want to have a strong chief article, warrant article on the warrant? Do we? Anybody in favor? Yeah, you know, it, I, I, I'm kind of uh, at a loss here just because I uh, the way I thought about it was that for the one we have now I'm fine but uh, but to put that to have that as our bylaw in effect for somebody that we don't yet know um, as a successor I was a very I was uncomfortable with mm -hmm. so um, so you're not recommending we put it on the one you're against putting it on the one yeah that's a good yeah. question um, Tell me but I guess that would have to rescind its vote to so what was the town meeting vote that we would put it on the warrant? No, if if it were on the warrant and was, the town it, meeting voted it was tabled. for it, it was tabled. Oh, oh, that yeah, yes, right, yeah, yeah. I thought it, yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't. There was nothing from the last town meeting that would obligate us to anything. No, no, in the no, no, right, no. Nothing. But if if town meeting did, then in my opinion, it would take another town meeting vote to rescind the prior town meetings vote. And we might need to hire a, hire a fire chief in the interim. We have to call a special town meeting to see if people wanted to rescind the vote. But I, I mean, if, to me, the, the, again, the reason the reason we talked about doing this had to do with our relationship with Ashfield. If we merge with Ashfield, we could always if that, if call it were necessary, a special town meeting. If it, it were necessary for the agreement, which yes. we don't I, I don't see that, that happening not. in the near future, if at all. Okay. There ain't enough zeros in Ashfield's bank balance in their checkbook. Yeah. All right, so about inclusion of the strong chief uh, warrant article, I'll make a motion that we do not include it. I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Philip? Yeah, I suppose I am too. Okay, three zero not to include it. Okay. Thanks. All right, the next one, to see if the town will vote to rescind the town meeting vote for Article 27 at the uh, April 10, 2006 annual town meeting to establish a housing committee. All right, so we're going we're gonna to rescind the housing committee as a standing committee in town? Well, um, it would be great if people stood up and said, I had no idea things had come to this impasse. I'm passionate about elder housing and would love to serve on the committee and, and and six other people stand up and say the same thing or or four other people um, but according to one part of the bylaws uh, if a committee doesn't make a report within a year it is automatically disbanded Dissolved. but this was formed by a vote of town meeting Okay. So I think it's most appropriate that it be laid down by a vote of town meeting. Okay. All right. Does does everybody agree with that? Philip? Yeah. Um, I like the idea of giving everybody out, uh, out on the floor of town meeting a shot to keep it going and saying this is what's going to happen right now unless, be, unless four people stand up and, and take this on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. so give everybody so, one last fair warning. So I'll make a motion that we. But also, the planning board has agreed to take on the duties of the housing committee. Uh, right? Uh, uh, okay. I was I mean, we got a letter about this. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, so it's so. Any, I, I would rather a real housing committee rose up, but but it's not it's not the end of the world. Right. If we get rid of this committee. Right. So I'll make a motion that we include this article on the warrant. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yeah. Okay. One, one yeah. further item about that. The housing committee does supply a representative. If there is a housing committee or a housing authority, it supplies a representative to the community preservation committee, mm -hmm. um, I believe. 
it's, it's a plus. Yes. Yeah, it, uh, that because they they're directly involved yeah. with, with housing. Yeah, so um, that would mean that that duty would, uh, if that's one of the duties the planning board was willing to take on, mm -hmm. that's that's fine. Otherwise, th that would fall back to the select board. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So the next item is uh, to see if the town will amend its bylaws to include, uh, you know, the idea of, of contractors depositing snow on the town roads, homeowners being responsible, contractors' actions, and enforcing agent would be the police department. Anybody have a problem with that? I, I'll just note that it failed the last time that it came up. People didn't seem to like it. Um, I'm hoping that the highway superintendent can explain that it is a real problem. It causes, um, it increases the potential for accidents. Okay. Um, yeah. It takes up extra staff time, mm -hmm. and you know, they they could be out there all day going around cleaning up little. See, I, I always thought, I mean, I, I I get that, but I always thought any kind of uh, attempt to. Uh, control people's behavior should be as narrowly tailored as possible and so it's not it's not depositing any snow that that should be illegal it should be depositing snow that interferes or affects the safety of a pedestrian or or seriously you, you, you don't you don't want neighbors that don't like each other that have existing beefs to be calling up because so-and-so spilled something from a shovel as he was shoveling out the car and and that like if you just have something like this without without sort of a threshold of Physical the, safety. The, so that's what. There's got to be some discretion that we give to the highway super, who knows who violates these things all the time. And this can. particular item. Yes. And can as well. Yeah. So so we we've, we've got to give them discretion here to to say what you know what's happening. All right. We can't we can't narrow it to the point where you know uh, uh, we we can't act on it. He he's got to have discretion, right, Philip? Well, he, he, he always has discretion. You have a, you know a, you have fairly simple words we could use, not what sound like something long and complicated. I mean, you know, plowing snow out onto the roads or. Um, Tom Tom has language. The language actually has been amended, and I remember passing out a sheet. Um, to you that had amended, and then we further amended it mm -hmm. um, to say by any means. And I have in trouble. Yeah, we, we that's my vague, that. my vague recollection Finding about that. this in the past was that people felt that it was too vague. But uh, I could be wrong about that because I'm vague about that myself. So, all right. Well, in principle, do you do you feel that this is this is good to be put on the one? We we can, yeah. you know. We, we can yeah, fool yeah. around with the language. Yeah, between, you, in principle. You know. Fool around okay. with the language a little bit, but yeah. in principle. Yeah. yeah. And you agree? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll make a motion that we put this article on the warrant. So that's 3 0, right? Yeah. All right. So, well, let's go through the vote. Do I have a second? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Yeah. All right. I apologize for not having the current language. Okay. All right. The next one Assessors to see if the town will adopt Chapter 59, Section 5, Clause 41C and a half as a personal exemption. Replacing uh, a Chapter 59, Clause 5, uh, Section 5, Clause 41C, which we currently have. Tom, do you want to elaborate on that a bit? Yeah, and I did ask Lee if she could come, and, and she's unable to come tonight. Okay. Um, what, what's it, the bottom line on that? It, it'll be <laughs> easiest. Um, Lee explained this to us. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. I, I thought this was well explained. Oh, I'm okay. And, and, okay. I, okay. I, I could not say, I could not repeat it, but. She, she, we right. Did, she, <laughs> so you know what I mean. Yeah. And, and she she not, it's not this. that substantial a change. That, that's right. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'll make a motion that we include this. Do I have a second? Sure. All in favor? Aye. Okay. It, it, it yeah. makes it easier okay. for the town's residents. Yeah. Ultimately. Okay. Planning board article one: revisions to existing marijuana law. Uh, and primarily. Okay. Now that's the. That's the citizens' position. Uh, no. This is something from the planning board. Okay. And we're not going to be absolutely sure that they have it until after their meeting on Thursday. Um, and, but I, I believe they are going to have it um, because they have clarifications that they would like to make. Okay. So um, they want to they clarify the existing bylaw. Yeah. Okay. Based on all the hearings they've just been having. That, you know, put, and put all these things together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so we're going to vote? I think we all nodded yes. 
but yeah. Yeah, I'll make a motion that we uh, we put the planning board article on that, that has to do with the uh, revision <coughs> to existing marijuana law, primarily uh, to more adequately address medical establishments. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yeah. Okay. And that's Three primarily. Up. Primarily. More, they, so yes. there, there will be, I, I think there will be other other items. We have a citizen's petition uh, that Two was brought into us. <laughs> yeah, to, one brought into us tonight. Yeah, yeah. And one that was brought in. Yeah. yeah. And one that was brought in before. A few weeks ago. Right. Um, but so being and, and this is the one that has to do with the one that was brought in a couple of weeks ago. Yes. Yes. Okay. Everybody's read that. They yeah. want to tight. They want to tighten up the existing marijuana law. And and I, I think I think you are bound. To put that one on the agenda. right. We don't. We don't. Yeah. Vote See, on I, yeah. I don't yeah. know about that. If you're not, if if you think that there are so, that there is something in a proposed bylaw that is against the law, and you have the law to show that it's against the law, then you have no business letting the voters vote on it. Well, all of these things go through the attorney general once they're voted on, and if it's not in accordance with the law, they kick it out. The attorney general reviews that, this all is true. Of these. Yeah. So if there's anything in there that they think is against the law, they'll 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 kick it out, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're we're voting on. Oh yeah, we certainly we certainly wouldn't have a law that was in conflict with state law. Yeah. And and I believe that they they have prepared a substitute am, uh, amendment, which addresses at least some of those issues at least one of them okay so, all right so we're, we're talking about that first citizens petition that's but, but we to tighten up and we're going to talk about now do we recommend it not, no, not what do we're we doing now later. is do we put it on okay what, that's what later we're doing now so, is do we yes. put it on this okay. is whether or not it goes on the warrant so you might all not like something but agree that the town should have a chance to vote right. on it so that's that's you know we can make that distinction okay. now okay all right. So on on this this petition, which we all know about, uh, and and have had a num several amendments to the uh, the existing marijuana law, um, I'll make a motion that we put this citizen's petition on the warrant. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Second. All in favor? Yeah. Okay. I don't feel like we don't have any choice but to vote yes. Uh, you know, I mean. Yeah. Well, we're we're voting to put it on. Right. We're not right. necessarily recommending it. Well, we're going to go through that in a second. Okay. And uh, the... Um, Same with the other one. The Same news, with the newsletter revolving fund. Oh. Are we all in favor of that? Yes. Okay. Philip, are you in favor of that? I'll make a motion that we put that newsletter revolving fund article on the uh, on the warrant. Do I have a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Yeah. Okay. 3 -0. Good, Philip. I, I thought I saw your head shake. Oh, like, yeah. like, yes. So okay. we have Good. one more... And, and now we have one more citizen's petition to do away with all the marijuana bylaws in town. Um, and and we're, we're waiting for verification of signatures. Yeah, on that. So. so subject to verification of signatures by the town clerk um, and assuming that everything else is in order to put it on the warrant, uh, I'll make a motion that it be put on the warrant. Do I have a second? Sure. Okay. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Okay. That's for that other citizen's petition. Okay, now we have to go through. Uh, that was that. Uh, now, now, Tom, we're going to vote to close the town meeting warrant tonight. So there's a couple of things yeah. that, that I would yeah. just like to just, okay. um, if we could. Yeah. For, first of all, um, I'd like to set up criteria for if we're going to postpone the town meeting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why would we postpone the town meeting? If to the coronavirus. Or, yeah. Well, it has, well to, it has to be convened by bylaw. I understand. Yeah. So we would convene it and then continue it. But So three people have to show up. So, so when, but when, when, this, when the head of the and I, you know, National Institute of Health says senior citizens as of today avoid crowds, mm -hmm. then... That's a serious thing. All right. We're, and, we're, and, and, and okay. that, well, that, well, we're, until that advice gets 
we're, we're in Conway here, though. Okay, we don't know. We, we, this is this is two months away. Two months away, April. Yeah, this is two months away. All right, we don't know what's going to happen in two months. So why are we talking about canceling the well, meeting? Well, um, we're not talking about it. We're talking about setting up a criteria so that if that criteria is met, that then people would know that that's what we're doing rather well, as, than having we, an ad hoc As we decision. get closer to the meeting, we'll we'll know what that criteria is because we'll we'll know what's happening in in the neighboring areas, right? Um, we'll either right, have to postpone or we won't. Yeah, right now, and, right now and, there's... And there's a know. mechanism for... But at least three people have to show up to continue the meeting to another date. But the 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 thing that's that's the, the, the thing the that appears to be possible though is that that there might be health warnings regarding a segment of the population that whatever that if they're telling elderly not to go but there's still plenty of people that that are that would show up then then w that that's the predicament that I was debating about because the, there's some people then who normally would go to town meeting who are being told by medical establishment okay. not to go but there's plenty of other, but you could still li lawfully have the meeting. Then, then what would the select right. board's position but, be in such an instance? We, don't, we don't have that so on the agenda. Policy. We don't have that yeah. on the agenda tonight. Yeah, yeah. 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 Phil, so, Phil. well, we can, I, can, I can work we, on that too. We don't have that on the agenda tonight, but we can put it on the agenda for next week. Yeah. Okay, and, and investigate it. Okay. But right now, all we want to sure. do is close the, the town meeting right. warrant. So, now that by closing the warrant, what we're saying is no more articles. Are allowed on the warrant. Okay, tonight's the deadline. Okay, we have the CPA stuff from last week, right? We got it. Yeah, there's a, there's a handout on that. Yeah, um, and and there, and yeah, a everything that's been mentioned, there's a placeholder for. So, yes. So we're yes. this is setting all We're the all placeholders, placeholders are there, and we'll be refining the language. Okay. You know, over the next month. Okay. So that's good. Okay. So I'll make a motion that we close the town meeting warrant for our May 11th meeting, annual town meeting. Do I have a second? Second. All sure. in favor? Yeah. Okay. We close the warrant. Okay. Now we have to vote. Uh, vote recommendations for warrant articles. Thomas, do we have all the articles? Well, um, they're actually, yeah. Um, given that we've also we've we've already discussed and approved the radio fees, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna, and that that is actually a money article. So now you can vote to recommend the money articles or not, and we'll add to that the radio fees. Um, and I'm just going to say, let's for now take it from general stabilization because that's, um, that's it's fine. a good purpose. It's an unexpected expense, not really unexpected, but it wasn't part of our capital planning yeah. um, this year. I'm sure it will be okay. in 20 years. All right, so so we we've we've gone over all these articles before. We know what we're doing here. Are there any questions on Article Two, Philip? Do you have any questions on Article Two? You know, we have we have changes uh, we have changes in town administrator line because of the new contract. We have changes uh, in the town insurance because of. Uh, Mostly workers' comp. Mostly workers' comp. There was one workers' comp situation there. We have an uh, increase in the Board of Health of the 25000 because of the recycling situation and hauling situation. Uh, employee costs have gone up because we had six uh, employees go up, increase their, um, their level of participation in the, in the insurance plan. Uh, we only had budgeted for two, which is normal. Uh, so we got hit hard there. Aside from that, everything else is is pretty much um, pretty much in line. Yeah, and we do not yet have a recommendation from the finance committee on the two and a half percent. I figure we can do that when the schools come in on the twenty third. Um, that is, you see, you see in the bottom of this mm -hmm. the um, the amounts that the. Uh, 
that the budget would rise if there was a general raise of 1.5. I'm sorry, that should be 2.0. Okay. 2.0, 2.5, and 3.5. Right. Um, okay. And we have, we have time to can consider that. That's 2.0. So the the overall budget would go up 12,232 with a 2.0 percent general raise, 15,290 with a 2.5 percent general raise, etc. Okay. So was this general raise apply to even the people that already got special requests? Uh, there, there were a number of people it would not apply to. Um, and anyone who's, who's making a, uh, a quantum jump, let's say, um, something who, who's, whose salary or wage is going up more than this 2.5% right. would not get what they got plus 2.5%. So that would they apply would just to the, get what they right. got. So that would apply to the town clerk and yours truly and whatnot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be about it, though. Um, there were odd circumstances here and there. Uh, the Board of Health automatically puts the 2.5% in their budget for all their employees and their stipends. And that was something that I mentioned during the uh, budget hearing. Right, yeah. Other questions on Article 2? Uh, I thought that the Conway um, bill from Frontier actually went down $20. Uh, I thought it was now $1,527,768. But I'm fine with putting yeah. another 20 in That's there. That's a level of specificity off the top of my head yes. that I do not have. <laughs> Um, the, the Frontier but, Regional Operating? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, that may just have been a refinement of the figures on, on their part, where, you know, they're not thinking of that as any um, substantive change. Any other questions on Article 2? Um, All right. Yeah. The... Um, So it's, it's, this is one of those deals that if you have a problem with with a single item, you got to vote no on everything just to get that single item discussed. Uh, no. You mean well, on, the, on the floor? No. No. What do you want yeah. to discuss? We do them in groups on the floor. Is that and what you're talking about or you're talking about right now? Yeah, on the floor. Town meeting oh, no, can do on whatever the, on it the wants. Floor, yeah, on the floor they can, they can consider items separately. You know... Uh, Usually we split it into Nick, three groups Nick, or something. Nick likes right? to do it in groups. Yeah. Unless somebody has an objection to that. And then it can be handled, you know, uh, you, you, can, you can pull one item out of a group and discuss that individually. Yeah, and I, and I thought that it was, actually there were four groups last time, weren't there? Yeah, we did. Oh, right, uh, because the, the grammar groups. school and the technical schools yeah. and Frontier are all voted separately. Yeah. <clears throat> so there's, there's the, the town side and then each of the schools gets voted separately. Yeah. Right. So can, can we make the so the um, can we make the school D stuff Article C One? D There's too many of those people we're paying by the hour, and I want to get them the hell out of there. <laughs> so <laughs> you want to what? Yeah. The school, all the school people, because they need everybody to come to this. For they need their building person. They need their the uh, whatever. What, what, so. what, what happens at every town meeting was somebody stands up and and wants to move well, the, the yeah, school and, articles and, up. And I did move some you school did. things yeah, last, up last time, yep. and I can move them up this time yeah. too. I'm, yeah. Uh, some of it, um, 
Yeah. I, I yeah, that's not a big deal. The order of the warrant isn't a big deal. All right, so are you happy with Article 2? Any other questions on Article 2? Um, yeah, I understand it. Okay. I'll make a motion that we recommend Article 2. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. <coughs> oh, Liz is not. Lisa's is not. Oh, Lisa, we yeah. just... And we just did uh, we just did a motion a motion and uh, uh, recommended Article Two. Okay. And I seconded this. And he seconded. So I voted okay. no. And you're voting no. Uh, you're not. Although I'm in agreement with the vast majority of it, but there's a few things I'm not. Okay. So, so it's two to two, one. Two to one to recommend okay. Article Two. Okay. Uh, the money articles. All the money articles are coming out of either stabilization or free cash. Or, or overlay surplus. So nothing in the in the money articles. Those capital uh, items are uh, uh, affecting the tax rate. Okay. Does anybody have any questions on any of those articles? Yeah, the, those articles. I feel like I just don't know enough. I I, I thought that we were going to get. Um, the grand the, the presentation from the highway department about the necessity for the vehicles and the preview of what the arguments were going to be at town meeting i didn't and i don't think i was absent for it but i just we don't we we went over the highway department budget uh yeah in terms of their um the, the capital list the, i don't the capital list that came through the capital improvements planning right. committee yeah. which yeah. did the the digging on all of that, and I know, and, the and, these, are, and these are their recommendations. Yeah, and I get, but their recommendations were based more of on an affordability, uh, the, the well, on what the, we the, than mostly like, needed. No, no, they they they're looking at need. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, the only question here, and I don't know, you they know, they actually took two, two things off his list, we off did. of Ron's yeah. list. How, how are we going to word this one about the large truck? Um. That's going to be an either or. Um, Mike says it's fine. If it's fine with Mike, it's fine with me. Um, there is the possibility that we would get a grant. So there would be two hundred and forty thousand dollars from free cash for either one the replacement of one truck, or two a partial grant match for the replacement of all three trucks. Okay, so that two forty would either go for one truck by itself, or that two forty would be a grant match for three trucks. Yes. Right. And and right. it's it, it would not be the entire match, um, but Ron feels Has confident other, about other the, money the rest. Can, okay. Okay. And that's that's a uh, what grant is that? It's not the, the BW grant. It's a it's a different federal grant. It's a it, but it's yeah. a federal grant. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Any any other questions on on these articles, Phil? Do you have anything? Um, no. Are we considering the, all of these in one fell swoop for this purpose? Well, to put to put them on, uh, to recommend them uh, for tonight. Yeah, for tonight. Do you want to go individually, Phil? Um. You, yeah, which oh, oh, one don't you like, Philip? It's not that I don't like. It's just that I don't know. I don't know enough about whether or not um, um, there's been enough uh, work to make sure that the prices are uh, that that the prices quoted are what's doable and what's obtainable, and that they're solid numbers. That that that's been my feeling in the past. You mean for the vehicles? Yeah, for the vehicles. So, so, so are, there th are there three estimates for each one? Are there, you know, what was the extent of the work that was gone into to like make, so that's the, that's the part of it that I never have heard and I've always been waiting to hear about like, um, you know, to what extent are we protecting the public purse in these types of purchases? And, and that will be up to the Capital Improvements Planning Committee to explain because mm -hmm. it's really their Except for that um, one, that, that it might be one or the other, 
the other items are the other three items are coming from the Capital Improvements Planning Committee, so they'll be the ones presenting and defending the article. But when this says like compact loader for thirty thousand, this is you know, this is what we're gonna be paying with the trade in of the old one. Right. You know, and it's exactly. a, you know a, an expensive piece of equipment. Right, I, I think it uh, uh, that it wasn't even that. I think that one was pretty well accounted for. It was um, to me, it was the the stuff like the the giant trucks and the whatever big highway equipment it is. That those are the so ones. that's the only big big equipment, and and that's basically what that truck costs because the old trucks that we have are so old they're barely running and critical. I, I mean, when Ron came in, we we had old trucks. And his view was, we need to keep these going because none of the modern trucks you can buy are any good. And so he has kept these trucks going with maintenance. Um, he actually did get one modern truck, and it was in the shop unbelievably often yes. due to emissions issues. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So he, he did not want to buy... That was a grader, though, I thought. Or was it... No, it was, it was, it was, it was a truck, truck too. So, mm -hmm. so he said, I don't want to buy new trucks until the emissions are fixed. And so now we're going to go through, and we're we haven't bought any, you know, we haven't bought we haven't replaced these old trucks far past their life, and we have to do it. I mean, they're they're old. And this is only one. Yeah. Didn't, didn't he want two? No, no, no. There was two other things. There was a there he was had the a, pickup a Dodge pickup, and he had another another compact loader. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. And we push them to next year. All right, I'm okay with all. You're this. okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll make a motion that we approve the uh, the capital items um, or these money items, other than uh, for the rest of the warrant. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor. Yeah. Okay, so we're we're three zero on all those other items. And, and I'm I'm going to put the radios in for twenty three three, um, which is only off by about twenty two dollars. Yeah, that's fine. If, if you could put the frontier capital item in the same grouping as the school budget. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, I I, I do it at first, you know, more or less in. Um, descending order of, of expenses. And the CPA number is not, the CPA number was re-voted last week, mm -hmm. but that, that comes all from CPA anyway. Right, So right. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't affect the Yeah, it the, doesn't the affect line. taxes or free cash or anything like that. All right. Okay, so now the, we're, we're finished with the money articles. Um, how about the non-money articles? First item well, is... Well, you, you did the non-money articles. We, we did we we did them the oh right right, the right, right right now we have to recommend thank you for that clarification that's a great distinction to make I'm isn't happy, it happy to I see knew you I knew you'd like that protocol. for about the fourth time tonight <laughs> okay so now we're considering yeah. the, the articles we said we'd put on the warrant to see if we recommend them okay so strong chief any any feelings on recommendations oh you 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 uh, it's not on. You don't have to. That's right. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. We, we voted not to put it on. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next one, to see if the town will rescind uh, town meeting vote for the, the housing committee. Yes. Okay. Are we recommending that? Yes. Okay. So I'll, I'll make a motion that we recommend that. Do I have a second? Yeah. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Okay. So it's 3-0 that we recommend rescission of that article. All right, next one is the depositing of snow in the roads. Um, what, what's our feeling on recommendation? I'd say yes. Yes, yes with a little tinkering, not in this precise exact language. Okay, so in principle. Yes. Okay, uh, I'll make a motion that in principle we're in favor of uh, amending the bylaws to include depositing snow in the roads with uh, amendments to the language, okay? All right, do I have a second? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Okay, so 3-0 uh, recommending that. 
Uh, the next one is the assessors to see if the town will adopt. And you guys heard what Lee had to say about this, right? Yeah. So we're going to recommend this, All right? Philip, you yes. in yes. favor of that? Yes. Okay, so I'll make a motion that we uh, uh, recommend uh, the assessor's article. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Okay. Aye. 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 Thank yes. you. All right, planning board article, uh, revisions to existing marijuana bylaw. Yeah, I, I, you might want to hold off until you see what it actually is. That's a good idea. We don't trust the planning board? Um, uh, okay, so, so I we'll, trust the planning board. In principle, <laughs> yes. It might, uh, you know, it might include that hidden language, hidden obligating language. the town to so pay for a hot tub for their meetings or something. You know. Yeah. You know, if, right. if we don't vote this tonight, will it not be in the work? No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. okay. No, okay. no this okay. is this is this is getting a start on okay, on good. the process. Okay, then that's fine. You have, you actually have a, um, about a month to tinker. So three more meetings to tinker. The same with thing things. with the petition that we just received tonight. I'd um, I'd yeah. like to just look at that and see what the ramifications of that are. Um, okay, without so having we'll, to vote on it immediately. So we'll hold off on recommendation for that. Do you do you also? What do you think of the other uh, citizen petition on amendments to the existing marijuana law? Uh, if I had to vote for that tonight, I would say I'm not in favor of it, but um, All right, so that, that we'll, deserves we'll hold closer. On. Do we yeah. need more clarification? Let's, yeah, Are next, we next week can be marijuana night. Well, and, and you can, uh, yes, because they have drafted a um, an amended uh, motion, oh, well, they, a, a substitute article. And they'll give that to you? Um, uh, that probably won't have its final form till town meeting yeah but you could invite them in and um, say maybe not make a recommendation on what's in the warrant and reserve your recommendation for town meeting I hate it when the finance committee does that yeah I know <laughs> I know but that's appropriate when you don't know exactly right, what right, it says right. though right okay all right, so we're not going to we're not going to vote on that. Uh, and now we have the the newsletter revolving fund. Um, I don't think there's any. You know, we're going to recommend that. I would right? I'd support it. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll make a motion that we recommend that. Three <coughs> O. And that's that's all for the non non money articles. Oh, there is another non money article. Yeah, um, what's that? The the newsletter people have an article that they wanted to get to you today. Um, giving town meeting uh, two or three choices for the new title. Oh, no. We, we don't need That's their idea. I have nothing we, to do, do with it. Do we need well, a town meeting vote for the for That's the their idea. They don't, we, they, they're, we, not, they're not comfortable they can name it whatever themselves. they want. <laughs> You'll get to tell them that tonight. <laughs> we already closed the warrant. And, and, uh, and, and they could have a, uh, you know, a straw vote or something if they want. Yeah, they can take they can take a non-binding vote at town meeting. Yeah, okay, it should they be non, that. non-binding anyway because if some for some reason I agree. it became not a good name, you'd have to have a town meeting vote to change. Vote vote vote. Yeah, boat, boat, boat. yeah. Straw, straw poll. At yeah, town meeting. Uh, okay, that's good. Okay, so we're through all the non-money articles. Tom, we have any items not anticipated forty-eight hours in advance? I do not have anything. Okay, do we have your update, Thomas? We do. In committee news, uh, the newsletter committee would like a monthly select board column. They also plan revolving departmental columns. Mm. Uh, so if uh, maybe John for the first one. Do we want to uh, rotate? i will do the first one that we, we rotate around. How's that? Is that good? Uh, you might want to call them because their first issue will be coming out uh, soon, I think. Uh, April 1st. Okay, I will. Uh, who who are we calling for that? Uh, probably Pat Lynch. Okay, can you can you send yeah. me her contact yeah. info? Okay. What do they want from us in this? They want like a something short and sweet. I'm short sure. and sweet. Okay. You know, some um, certainly no more than a page of what the visitor would be, which is probably on. 
that's a lot. 200 that's words a, or 250 lot. words or something. Okay, okay. Uh, but that, you know, anything less I'm sure would be welcome as well. Okay, I'll put something together. Right. Um, and sad news, Bob Anderson has resigned from the Parks, Recreation, and Trails Committee and will be moving out of town. Oh, mm. I'm sorry to hear that. Where's he moving to? Uh, somewhere where he is going to be enjoying himself personally in uh, in a in a in a personal uh, relationship. Oh. So we're warm, I hope. Or uh, I don't. It yeah. it will be warm wherever he is. That's lovely. Okay. No, there's significant health issues there in uh, with John. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Found there it. You go. Found it. Looking for my notes and went, what the There you go. <laughs> there. <laughs> See it. Um, this is one of the committees, Parks, Recreation, and Trails, where another volunteer or two could really make a big difference. And uh, if anyone is interested, please let me or anyone at the town office know. So, uh, how many members are on this committee when Bob moves away? Oh, uh, Lisa? Well, we've got um, two. Is it two? I think, oh, it's more than two. Is it? Um, yeah, the vast majority I, of people involved are, are there because of Conway Youth Sports. So we have oh, right, right, few right. people yeah, working okay, on... Okay, but wasn't, wasn't Bob basically trails? He was on the trails. He, and he, he had been more of that. He had been a, a trail Actually, person. They just got a really good appointment Megan Gump last was week. The major. We appointed yeah, somebody last week right. um, that was re yeah. that Michael Merritt to that, yeah. right. and he's yeah. he's really good. So yeah. they, they uh, yeah. Yeah, I believe they have four people now after the resignation of. So, okay. so that that's that's not very healthy for parks, recreation, mm -hmm. and trails. Heavily Conway Youth Sports focused, which is great because that involves a whole lot of people in town. Yes, uh, but we do need people uh, for our parks and trails especially um it would be great to get the trails on our gis system mm -hmm. which is entirely possible now so there are projects awaiting people who might be interested okay uh hank horstman let lisa know that he would like to be added to the town hall and town office renovation committee well he was on the uh on the he, he highway on the facilities committee, committee. Yeah. okay yeah. Uh, i've not yet spoken to him about it i think he would be good as a community representative and we'll plan to speak with him before your next meeting. Yeah, okay. he's good on that other committee. He, he doesn't talk much, but when he does, it's worth listening to. That's good. Okay. Uh, for newsletter committee news, the treasurer, their treasurer, agrees with the plan proposed by the town treasurer to the accountant and me in a meeting regarding payment for advertising in the town newsletter. Uh, first, as you heard before, we can create a revolving fund so that newsletter income and donations go toward newsletter production. Also, the treasurer strongly prefers payment through the online Unipay system with other payments such as checks only as a last option. <coughs> this would greatly cut down on potential logistical headaches. You got to pay to use that system? Late checks, transfer of checks, bounce checks, reporting and reconciliation, etc. There is a 25 cent charge for the ACH transfer. Uh, credit cards cost two dollars and fifty cents yeah. um, but apparently a whole lot of people are going ACH now um, and you know we could walk people through that and mm -hmm. get them into compliance as time goes on and you know there's always the possibility of dropping something off at the <coughs> yeah okay um, in departmental news Nick Filler has indicated that he will be leaving town which oh. opens up the moderator position. Hopefully he's not leaving before the town meeting. No, no, Good. he's leaving after the town meeting. Uh, Ken Lamette has expressed some interest, but has been thinking it over. <laughs> I checked with the FERCOG, which keeps county records, and sent a letter to Roaring Glen Farm about Waitley Glen Road being a county road in 1959, with no changes after that to the best of the FERCOG's knowledge, and therefore the town's knowledge. That's just following up on an item from last week. Okay. Um, the Blay Capital Request Opportunity was for projects estimated at $50,000 or less, uh, a detail which uh, slipped me when I first saw the, the invitation, uh, which would not be suitable for the community wastewater system. We do not have figures for any other capital projects. Mm -hmm. 
the request for quotes for repairing and painting the town hall cupola and pillars went out Wednesday. I've had several responses and one site visit so far. The due date for questions is this Wednesday. The due date for submission is Wednesday, March 18th. Uh, we've just received word from MassDOT that we were receiving $264,126 in FY 2020 Chapter 90 funds, down 837 from FY 2019 2064 963 Now, there's a, there is, there's a request in front of the legislature for an additional 100,000 of, uh, uh, 100 million of Chapter 90 funds. So we could be getting quite a bit more. We could. Now if, well, <laughs> this is this is based on, on 200 million. Yes. This, this number. Yes. yes, it is. So we would get 50% more if that passed. Yes, so we, we would had get, once in the past recently. We would get, a you know, another $132,000 added to our Chapter 90 funds if that is passed by the legislature. All right. Uh, regarding the flag raising for the uh, Child Abuse Awareness Month, if anyone would like to say anything at the event, please let me or the organizer know. She will be speaking shortly, uh, briefly, and will have some resources and time for people if they have questions, but statements from local officials are encouraged. When is, when is this? That's Easter Monday. Right, April Easter 13. Monday. What, what's the date? April 13th. April 13th. Monday at 10.30 a.m. 10.30 a.m. Okay. Um, they, want, they want somebody to say something? Yes. As many okay. as would like to say something. Okay. We, we could all say something. You could. If we all want to be there. Want to be there? We'd do it like a... Like a I, I would hope be just being like there would be enough. Team. Yeah. 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 Okay, the Easter Monday. All right, great. Well, so, yeah, get in touch with me and I'll get in touch with her. That's e probably okay. the easiest way. Um, uh, in response to COVID-19 concerns, I've requested an enhanced cleaning regime. I am drafting a remote work policy in case employees need to be away from the office for any extended period of time. And I'm working with Roy to ensure staff with workstations have remote access to the town network. I would add that you, you all need uh, alcohol-based hand sanitizers at your desks. Uh, and uh, that, that should be We tried for, to order that, that today, and too. there wasn't any. Mm, no one has them. Nobody See, has and, them. And, yeah, and so New York State just ordered yeah. all their state prisoners to start making them immediately. And they're, <laughs> and they're, they're distributing them. They're, they're, they're making 100,000 things a week and they're distributing to all public offices, public buildings. And, and, but that's, that's, that's what the kind of thing that our governor could have done, and I'm hoping that he will. Um, when you go into BJ's, or, or the, they, have, they have Purell bottles, uh, but they don't sell them. No, nobody's mm. got no, any Nobody's sell. got them for sale. No. Meanwhile, the state g it just gave out box loads of condoms to all of our public schools. Oh. We didn't have but, to. But we we didn't have to mention. But we can't. But we can't. But we can't get hand sanitizer from. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that information, <laughs> Philip. Um, we that, have we have fine. this in the sign folder. What do we need this for? The the DCR. Are they in the nurses' office? That should be have been in the letters. That was a whole big right. thing. I Sorry. Said they should have been in the purple in baskets uh, folder. Oh. Okay. Do we need Do we need to do something for them? Uh, yes. Okay. We need to make an announcement, which is the second thing that's highlighted on the first page. On, on that front page, there's two highlights. So okay. you, you might just read the highlights, and that'll, that'll, be, that'll be sufficient. Okay. This is from the, uh, well, is, is this in mail? All right. I'll yeah. wait till mail. Yeah. Okay. That's mail. Uh, thank you, Tom. Uh, concerns of the selectmen. Philip, do you have any concerns? Just that um, I just wanted to... Uh, the, the other thing, got, uh, can, can we? Is it possible to t change the time of our town meeting from seven thirty to seven? Just that half an hour would make a big difference, I think. That's um, it's in the bylaws. It would have to be a bylaw change. Yeah, can we put in the bylaws. Can we put that? Can we put that as a bylaw to change that as, as a change for our t at town meeting? I mean, wh when when you go there, the the one thing I'm noticing is that everybody's there already. 
and that we could easily start at seven and that oh, a lot of people come in late well the, but Tons but enough people, people but 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 why don't, but, but why don't, why anything don't that take, we can do to avoid staying there till eleven o'clock at night. Yeah. Why don't we why don't we take a poll at town meeting and say, would you guys like this earlier? Yeah. Because I wouldn't mind having it at six o'clock, tell you the truth. Yeah. I'm with you there. You know? You know what again, we'd have to change the bylaw. But, you know, whatever the town wants to do, they want a little earlier. Yeah, good idea to take a poll. Yeah. Let's do that. It has to be the most commonly requested thing when town hmm. meeting comes up. Okay. The time that people. Okay. We don't need to ride our horses and buggies there anymore. So that's. This that's is true. It. This is true. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to do that anymore. Although I'd like it if we did. You can. Okay. Yes, you can, can if you I, want to. I'm the only one that can probably. Uh, one of the only okay. ones. The only, only few of us. Okay. Any other concerns that we have? No. Uh, Good. Okay. Uh, we have mail from the from the DCR. Tom, do you want to tell us about this mail? Uh, it just came in today. Uh, DCR okay. is proposing to buy 124 acres uh, next to the South River um, near Conway Station Road. I believe it belongs to a. Can't remember his name right now. It begins with a B. Barlow. Barlow. That's what it is. Brian Barlow. Does it go down to the uh, dam or down in that vicinity? Is it? Didn't Brian Barlow pass away? Uh, or, well, it would still be the Barlow property until it's sold right. by the next owner. <clears throat> uh, so, anyway, 124 acres. Uh, and they want the select board to expedite their removal of town, of land from the town tax base. Um, by reducing the 120 days uh, that they have to give to uh, a public notice. They don't say reduce it to what, um, but they want the select board not only to announce it at this meeting, which I think we're doing, that DCR wants to buy 124 acres on the South River by Conway Station Road, previously owned by Brian Barlow. Um, but they, again, they want the select board to, um, to waive the 120 day notice opportunity, presumably because they have some sort of an offer on the land that the, the landowner is saying, well, either buy it within 60 days or I'll sell it to somebody else. Uh, but I, I don't know the reason that they're asking for the waiver. Does it have anything to do with the effective date of our tax year or anything like that? Is it an effort to escape? Paying an assessment on a property for a year. Where is it? Besides being on the South River, where precisely? Do you have an idea? They own land down there on the South map. River now. It's, it's, it's near Lukart Luke Luke Road. It's across from Lukart Road. Yeah. So where's the South River? Where's Station Road? It's across the Up river at the there. top. See it? Station Road um, and Lukart's <laughs> down there. So it's at the upper end. I think they own. It's across the river from Conway Station Road. Right. Right. It's on yeah. the South River. Near. Oh, it's on Conway Station. Station. It's on the south side of the river. Yeah. Sorry. This is Mur. This is this is Murphy's. Well, right was, next to it. Was, yeah. Is this Murphy's house here? Yes, it is. So it's the huge oh. field below Oh, Murphy's. It's not the one he just clear cut. I, he, yeah, it is. Yeah. I always thought those were his. That, that's that. Works. Dang. But didn't he cut it down so that they could put up solar? Uh, he he's putting a little solar the property right been next used to for his timber house. management and recreation. It's horse pasture. <clears throat> so the question before the board, now that we have announced it, which they wanted us to do. Yeah, let me let me read the announcement officially for you. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, let me read that. Oh, there's, uh, yeah, there's, there's no price list. There's no waiver. We don't have any say. You can't say no. You can't say pay more. You can't say give us a pilot agreement in addition to this. No, they have a standard for all the pilots. Yeah, I could love. write. I could write them back and, <coughs> and say if you gave us a pilot, we would we would waive your. Uh, That's your notice. Yes, they'll give yes. us a pilot. Right. Yes, right? we want that. The, no, the, the, the state is going to determine what the pilot is. Right, they, they will. Can't do that. But the, the DCR wants to buy this 124 acres on the South River. Okay, and the regulations require that an agency proposal to require uh, to acquire the property be made uh, in a public forum to comply with this requirement. We ask that the select board must announce that the Commonwealth is considering this acquisition for the above stated purposes at its next regularly scheduled meeting, which is tonight, uh, and document the announcement on the enclosed form. Okay, that's these forms that are in here, okay. Uh, they're also asking for, uh, let's see, should the, should the DCR decide to pursue this acquisition, it may be necessary to complete the transaction in less than 120 day notice period otherwise required. We therefore ask that you agree to this reduction in time and indicate your approval of the reduction on the waiver form. Okay, do we have a problem with uh, reducing the, uh, the time on this? Um, the notice time? I don't know. The only reason I could think of is, is not, you know, I, I don't even know if you could reduce it to a, a specific number of days or whether you just you know, let them determine that. But saying to them, you know, yeah, you can do this, but um, this is another $124 off of our tax base, and uh, we would like a little more consideration, you know, when you're doing these things and a discussion of, of payment in lieu of taxes, even if it's just a discussion. Now, to be fair, I could put this on the agenda for next week because it is actually a vote of the select board, mm -hmm. and um, you know that could be on the agenda. It did happen to come. So there, the, in the so mail. there is something to that though. Because, so one of the things about that property, Lucart Road, where that stops, I don't know if you've ever gone down it. I know where so, it is. Yeah. So there, it's you go a little bit, and then there's sort of the if you stay to the right, it goes to Murphy and Janet's house. And you go to the left. But you go to the left, it goes way down, and yes. it goes way down only to service that property. Mm -hmm. But the town... Well, that used to be where Murphy's father lived. Right. Way down at the right. bottom. Right, right. So, but if that's the case, I thought Murphy still owns that, not the bar, not Barlow's. Right. He... I don't well, know. Well, I, I don't know who the owner is now. Maybe they're just saying it, it was at one time owned by Barlow. And, and, and that is um, unofficial. Right. That identification yeah. is unofficial. Yeah. Okay. We're we're just we're just looking at, at what what DCR wants to do here. Uh, do we want to consider this? Take a week to consider this. Yeah. Could they come it's in? It's a now? fabulous Could property. I always thought as a as a site for um, some kind of really kind of nifty residential something or other. That those are th those I, those I've are sites often, on the bluff. That I've often thought it would be a nice place for like a woodstock. You know, another like, yeah, yeah. You know, like a, a natural amphitheater. It is, yeah. You know, you know. Like it, hey, you're gonna have to know. dig out your old electric guitar. You know, I never had an electric guitar. Right. I was that more of a Spanish guitar type guy. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. The classic. Yeah, I carry it around just for the hell of it. You know. Let's see that. All right. <laughs> next week. So next week, this is going on the agenda for next yeah, week. Okay. Right. Can I see it, John? Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. Do we have any other mail that we have to go through here? Uh, no, we did that last week, right? Or did we? Oh well, then, yeah. And just leave it on the table. All the fields that I, think, I thought house. there was something else new in there. I forgot. He owns them. Um, he said he owns them. Comcast. 
Okay, they're talking about a license that expires. In oh yes, that was for Bob. September 2020. Especially. Yeah, Bob, you know about this. Th that our license is expiring? Yeah, yes. we're, we're, we gonna, we're gonna renew before then. Yes, we are. Yeah, so they're just giving us notice of that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That, that's common, common notice. We meet with them regularly. Yes, yes. that's the okay. one. Yeah. And I just thought you'd like to know about the official letter. Okay, and that is basically it. Yeah, we've been through the rest of this. We know about the rest of this stuff. Okay. All right. So, uh, announcements. Mm -hmm. Hey, we have a town uh, town quorum tonight. Uh, town, uh, yeah, caucus tonight. Town caucus. Right, town caucus. Uh, and our next scheduled meeting is uh, for Monday the sixteenth here in the town office at six o'clock. Is there any other? Business to come before the board. No. Okay. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Do I have a second? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye.